We are breaking down Robert Kraft's state of the Pats address at the annual league meetings in Orlando today. Here's what he had to say about the betrayal of the Patriots championship teams in the docuseries, The Dynasty. I felt bad that there was so much emphasis on the more controversial and uh, let's say challenging situations over the last 20 years. I, I wish they had focused more on our Super Bowl wins, our 21 game win streak. So a little disappointed that there wasn't more of a real positive. All right. Uh, so Kraft saying he was disappointed about the dynasty and there's a feeling that, you know, this, this is a craft operation. It's based on the book, The Dynasty, which was a craft approved project. They handed it out to the season ticket holders. Handed out to the season ticket For holders. For free. Uh, the executive, one of the executive producers of The Dynasty, who's the author of the book, Jeff Benedict. So do you buy that Robert Kraft is surprised by anything he saw in there, Hurley? Well, I hope you don't take it personally, because no one was on the Dynasty more than Michael Hawley, yeah. so this might yeah. be a little friction here. <laughs> yes. But I think, I think there are elements of this series that he uh, talked about there that he had nothing to do with when it comes to skipping over Super Bowls 38 and 39, when it comes to skipping the, the entire building of the Dynasty, really, after 01, when it comes to an entire Spygate, an entire Deflategate, an entire Aaron Hernandez. He's right. That was all production things. But there are parts of this series that he was responsible for. Ask Tom Brady what happened at that meeting at Kraft's house. He says, I'm not telling you that respectfully. Bill Belichick is, let me do an awkward stare down with the camera. That's what you got out of Bill Belichick. And Kraft says, well, let me tell you what was said. Tom said this and Giselle said this and I said this. And we called Bill and I did this. That is, I mean, I appreciate it. But if he didn't want all that stuff out there, he could have just done the same thing that Tom Brady and Bill Belichick did. I felt, guys, he was just sort of parroting what some of the fan complaints have been about it. Yeah. I mean, I really felt like some, some of those filtered back to him, and he was just kind of parroting those things. And, yeah, sure, you know, the dynasty needed less Michael Hawley and more Bon Jovi. But that's <laughs> yeah. ultimately not the issue with the documentary. And also, I feel like when you're participating in one of these things, you can sort of go into it and say, yes, maybe you don't have final approval, but you can say, hey, I'm not participating in this unless – X, Y, Z. So I, I just sort of don't buy this 100%. You know how I feel about this. You know, I, I'm not one of these people who looks at this and feels like it was a complete bag job on Bill. I think he made himself look bad. I know we'll get to that. But I also can't 100% buy that this final product was so surprising and so disappointing to Robert Kraft. I'm sorry. I just can't buy that. All right. Uh, a lot of talk about Bill Belichick's portrayal in the dynasty. Here's what Kraft had to say about that. I'll state this clearly. I feel so privileged that we had Bill here. And, um, you know, we, we hope uh, when he's finished that we're going to have a chance to honor him the way we did, uh, we, we will do with Tom Brady this year. Okay, okay, look, okay, sure, you feel privileged that, that he was here. I'm, gl I'm glad we did it. But he's the one who said, I credit that loss, that 2017 loss to Bill Belichick, and I had my eyes on him. So he said, I was watching him going forward. In the next I, Super Bowl. Yeah, in the next Super Bowl. When I we got to the Super Bowl yeah, a year later, I was, I was, I was watching him. I was watching him to see if he'd do anything shady. And, you know, they gave up three points. And so I knew at that point, and Brady knew at that point, that, that Belichick was going to be the head coach. He said so much about Belichick that you can't even put that off on anybody. You can't put that off on the, on the director, Matt Hamachek. You can't put that on Jeff Bennett, anybody else. He said what he meant, meant what he said. And the real question, Hurley, is what would have happened if Belichick had come back? I still want an answer to that. If Belichick <laughs> is back here for the 2024 season as the head coach, how does Robert Kraft answer these questions about the dynasty it's and what good, he said? It's a good question. You hear it a lot. But I will say, Robert Kraft is kind of consistent with the stuff he said. The pain in the tush we heard in a, one of those ESPN schmuck. exposés. Yeah, the, the schmuck, schmuck we heard yeah, from Gary story. Myers. Here, that. Yeah. Like pretty much everything except, to your point, that the Malcolm Butler game was his fault. 
Uh, that was a new one, but I would say that's another log the on the Tom fire. Brady, uh, you know, the Tom Brady, Giselle, the Giselle comment, that, that effing yeah. Belichick, he doesn't treat my Tommy like a, a real man. man. He did yeah. solidify for that. I think yeah. we got a piece of that when Tom Brady made an entire series on Facebook for Tom us versus Tom. Uh, five years ago. So, no, but I do think there was an – I think, honestly, if there was any great – well, there were many great skills of Bill Belichick – just completely ignoring what we consider huge fires was probably chief among them. So he'd show up, we'd say, Bill, what about this one? And he'd say, uh, next question. But, but what if, you know, it's like the firefighter who's an arsonist, though. What if you're setting those fires? And that's what the dynasty basically said. It was Bill setting these fires. Alex Guerrero taking away the access. Here's what I think. I think that the crafts are sort of recovering Belichick-aholics. And the fan base isn't there yet. I think they look at it and say, this guy sold us a little bit of a bill of goods in terms of he can have the same success. They can win without Brady. You know, remember the Ian O'Connor book. You have the unnamed assistant coach saying, Tom's not as special as ownership thinks he is. We can you know, contend with any of the top 15 quarterbacks. I think ownership legitimately bought that when they signed off on that decision of Bill moving on from Tom Brady. And I think they feel kind of betrayed. And I think you saw some of that seep into this dynasty thing where they're where the fans are now, which is like, you can't say that about, you know, Bill Belichick. They were at that point when they made the choice of Belichick over Brady. And now four years later, they've moved on. They've recovered. But the fans aren't there yet because Bill's removal is so fresh.